Olivia Colman 50 Shades of Pink dominated the designer dresses chosen by Hollywood's leading ladies as they turned on the glamour for the Oscars on Sunday night. An eclectic mix of styles was sported by the stars, from classic elegance to supersized bows and ruffles, but one color dominated, albeit in a variety of shades. A steady stream of stars dazzled with their choice of gowns and designer accessories and, as is usually the case for IA's top red carpet event, there was no shortage of odd outfits capturing the headlines. The ladies though led the way and, as well as lots of pink, this year metallic gowns proved popular as well as women wearing trousers. Lady Gaga not only stole the show with her intimate performance of Shallow with Bradley Cooper but she also dazzled in the fashion stakes. The star is born actress and singer may have played it safe but nevertheless looked stunning in a custom sculptural black dress by Alexander McQueen, which she accessorized with elbow-length black leather evening gloves and a diamond Tiffany's necklace once worn by Audrey Hepburn. The elegant theme continued with Olivia Colman who took to the stage to pick up the Oscar for Best Actress looking radiant in a bespoke Prada gown. The long, sleeveless gown in emerald green silk Radzimir came with a smoky grey silk organza cape with puffed sculpted sleeves. Julia Roberts looked pretty in pink as she presented the award for Best Picture in a sexy yet elegant one-shoulder gown with long slit skirt by Ellie Saab. She accessorized her ensemble with simple Stuart Weitzman heels and jewelry by the Taiwanese designer Cindy Chow. A major trend on the red carpet was metal tones, from gold to silver and everything in between. Glenn Close may have missed out on a coveted Oscar but, at 71, won plaudits for her gold Carolina Herrera dress with a long flowing train which was created from an astonishing 4 million beads. Many said the dress made close resemble one of the golden statues for which she was nominated in the Best Actress category. And just to prove that looking good often comes at a price, Close revealed before the show that her dress weighed a whopping 42 pounds. Kendall Jenner didn't have any such weighty issues, turning up in a barely there, slinky black gown that left little to the imagination. Rhea Ora also flashed the flesh in a black gown as did Miley Cyrus who took the plunge in a gown that was slashed to the navel. Also more cringeworthy than classic couture was Linda Cardellini, the madman and her actress, who turned up in a hot pink mess. She wore a frilled fuchsia pink number with a mullet hemline that was cropped short at the front and flowed into a long train at the back which she teamed with black heels and a baby pink bow belt. Meanwhile, the jury was out on whether or not Best Supporting Actress nominee Rachel Weisz of the favorite rocked her unusual two-piece red Givenchy dress. The unusual ensemble featured a shiny latex caplet layered over an embroidered gown with sparkling embellishments. She carried a matching clutch by the French luxury house. Another star working the pink theme was Gemma Chan, who wore an eye-catching neon Valentino number which appeared to dwarf her petite frame with its masses of material. The crazy rich Asian star teamed the pink frock with silver gem-encrusted earrings. Another star making the worst dress list was the American rapper and actress Aquafina, who wore a metallic silver suit with drainpipe trousers and an enormous pussycat bow taking over her top half. However, no stranger to rocking a red carpet, J.Lo turned heads in a figure-hugging shattered mirrored cocktail gown by Tom Ford which she complimented with a simple wave in her hair and stunning jewels. Also in figure-hugging metallic was the favorite nominee Petra Flannery, who looked fabulous in a custom-embroidered Louis Vuitton gown with sequins, pearls, and beads, which she paired with Louis Vuitton high jewelry collection gems to match. In keeping with the pink theme and cutting quite a dash on her first ever night at the Oscars, was Kiki Lane who starred in If Beale Street Could Talk. She cruised onto the red carpet, in a sleek silhouette gown with oversized bow by Atelier Versace teamed with shoes by Stuart Weitzman and Atelier Swarovski jewelry. The biggest surprise of the night, however, was the ball gown worn by actor-singer Billy Porter which caused a sensation on Twitter. The Pose star, who was the first to arrive at the Dolby Theatre in Los Angeles, made quite a style statement in a black velvet tuxedo gown with full ballroom skirt and ruffled white sleeves by Christian Siriano. 
Belfast Telegraph.